What's up? So guys, I'm going to be leaving for camp very, very soon and when I first started out at camp there were some things that I was not fully prepared on or I did not fully understand. So today I'm going to be bringing you my camp life hacks and expectations. So I'm going to be starting out with some of the expectations and things you should just get used to around camp. The first thing I did not expect was the very short showers. Now I'm not talking about five minute showers, I'm talking about two minutes max showers. Yes, our showers were two minutes long and I was not prepared for that. So I was completely unprepared for having to shower this quickly and I have some life hacks for you. When you are standing in line to wait for your shower, try soaping up your hair in line so that once you get into the shower, you can just wash it out, wash your body and get out. Um, the real goal here is to move fast and efficiently. My second thing that I worried way too much about was what I looked like. I cared way too much about what people thought of me. The whole point of camp is to just let loose, enjoy summer, and be yourself. And I was trying too hard to be someone who I wasn't. So all to you campers out there, be yourself, be carefree. Everyone's there, just have a good time. Still try to be somewhat presentable, like try not to be like hobo status, but you know what? If your hair doesn't look perfect, no one really cares. And thing number three, make friends with the boys. They're really not that scary, and I actually made really close friends with a lot of the guys that I hung out with at camp. And just, just step over that boundary. They're really not that scary. And the last thing is go in with a positive attitude. If you do not give a positive attitude to camp, camp will not give you a positive experience back. That is the number one thing that I learned. Don't try to be too cool for camp, sing the songs, play the games, it will just be more fun that way. And the counselors are there to make your experience better, so treat them with respect, get into it, just have fun. And as someone who struggles with RBF face, resting beep face, um, everyone thought I was super mad at them and I didn't want to be positive, but you know what? I let that go. I forced myself to smile more and I just made the experience way, way more fun. So those are my camp expectations and what to be prepared for. Life hack number one, bring a watch to camp. A lot of my counselors would complain that we would always ask the counselors first what we're doing that day instead of asking your fellow campers. So being the one with the watch, you can keep everyone on track, on schedule. So like if they say, hey, we're doing arts and crafts at 12, you know, hey, it's 11.30, we should start wrapping up and walking over to arts and crafts. And it's also just so you don't have to bother the counselors because they're always saying how we're always asking them what time it is, like when are we doing this, when are we doing this, when are we doing this. This way, you already know what time it is, you can be more chill and relaxed. Life hack number two, make a mini emergency kit. Grab a small makeup bag or a pencil case, something of that sort, and put in things such as band-aids, pads, tampons, makeup wipes, aloe, eye drops, um, ibuprofen if they allow it, you do not want to get caught doing drugs. Don't, don't do drugs, kids. But basically, this is just a much faster, simpler way instead of going all the way to the nurse's office just to get a simple band-aid where you could just be slapping on a band-aid and moving on with your activity. Also, if you don't feel comfortable asking the nurse or whoever is working like the first aid area for a band-aid, etc., etc., you can have your own and it's just much easier and faster. Life hack number three is to sleep whenever you can and hydrate constantly. You will just feel more energized, you'll be able to have more energy for camp activities, and you will not get headaches, you will not get heat exhaustion, um, and I, for one, if I do not hydrate enough, I do, if I do not get enough sleep, I will feel awful the next day. I need to hydrate, I need to sleep. It's okay to take naps during like rest time, and just you'll feel more positive, more energized, you'll be able to do more camp things, and you'll just have a, and you'll just have a better time. And my final and fourth life hack, Salem. And my final and fourth life hack is to keep everything in Ziploc bags. I can start out going to camp with my suitcase packed very, very neatly, and all of a sudden it just turns into a complete mess. 
put like your t-shirts in a ziplock bag keep your shorts in a ziplock bag socks underwear all that kind of stuff in their own ziplock bags so that when you're done wearing them you can put them back in the bag so you can rewear them instead of just throwing them all in the suitcase and things will start to smell and just be gross so keep them in Ziploc bags, and as well, you can put your wet bathing suits in Ziploc bag if you go swimming that day, or muddy things, etc, etc. Just keep them all tucked away. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, comment down below anything you want, and I usually shout out everyone who gives me a comment on my videos, but I am currently at summer camp right now, so I cannot give anyone a shout out, but if you comment something, thank you so much. It means the actual world to me, and I just really want to grow a little family here on YouTube, so subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed it, and um, yeah, so I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! you I was looking for some empathy Well you fooled me Just a touch and I thought I was gone And now Someone's gonna get to know the best